everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Atari Flashback. So now we're going to do some more of these games, because I thought about making a full LP out of this. So, let's start on Air Sea Battle. So this is basically a tank trying to shoot down airplanes, and it's kind of really tedious, because you really don't know where to shoot. Sometimes... If you want to shoot the high ones, you have to shoot in advance. And if you want to shoot the low ones, you have to shoot when they're really close. So like that. But, you know, that's pretty much air sea battle. There's really no way to die. But, let's just reset it. Alright, the next game is going to be Asteroids. The classic Asteroids. It, ha it even has a nice title to it. So basically what you're doing is... Shooting asteroids, yeah, what'd you expect? Except this one is actually a little bit more crappier. Due to the fact that it's really sensitive and I'm using this, like, ugh, oh, yeah, I died. And I'm using this type of joystick that just, like, sticks out. It is really sensitive. Next game. Alright, so the next game is Battle Zone. And Battle Zone, I don't even know. So what you're basically doing is just going around shooting down these tanks, I guess. Yeah, and if you mess up, the computer just goes all, like, bleh. See, see like that. You're not even given enough time to turn around. And what, there's no enemies here? Okay. Yeah. This is just a bunch of bullcrap. It doesn't even give you enough time to turn around, and look at that. Yeah, see, I died. Next game. Okay, next out is the classic Breakout. It's basically like a Pong turned on its side. There's a ball and a paddle, just keep on bouncing it. But the thing is, once you get it bouncing, it gains momentum, and it goes faster and faster. I think there are also some special power-ups that you can get on the, along the way. But, you know, that's not really that special. Well, next game. Alright, the next game is Canyon Bomber. And this, I don't even know. I think you just have to bomb. But no matter how much you bomb, the blocks just keep respawning. So what's the point? Or maybe they just keep falling, I don't know. Yeah, so it's basically like, sort of a Tetris, the, the blocks just kind of respawn and fall. I really don't see what the point of this is. Oh well, next game. Alright, so the next game would have to be... Centipede. Alright. So basically what you have to do is shoot down this centipede, and when you shoot it down, it turns into, like, these mushroom things. You have to shoot all the pieces of the centipede to get past the level. But to beat the level, you also have to shoot through these little mushrooms, and, and every five seconds, there's this little spider that just keeps running down the screen, and, god, I don't even know what that was when it fell. Now, what is that thing? Shoot. Come on, shoot. Shoot. Ah, there we go. And I guess that's really all there is to Centipede. Except dying. And that's pretty much it when you die. Next game. Alright, so Crystal Castles. Oh, this looks fun, right? Okay. Next game, I guess. I don't even know how to play it. Not over here. Over here. Yeah, there we go. Centipede Desert Falcon. Ooh, this looks fun, right? The hell? And I died already? Okay, again, next game. I, I don't even know what to say. But there's only one more game in this row. Food Fight. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So what you have to do is eat the cone, player one, and yeah, you have to get the cone from the other side of the screen while throwing 
pizzas and tomatoes at the chefs, I guess. You get 500 points, and then all the food that's left gets added to your score. And I guess when you die, everyone just pelts you with food, like, they're on ecstasy. But you don't even start off with food. Instead, they just get you the second that you're starting the level. And what's he doing anyway when you stand still? Is he, like, covering his nose or something? Like, what, does, this, does the food really smell that bad? Yeah, game over. Well, that's pretty much this row. I mean, I covered adventure in a separate episode, so... I guess, in the next episode, we'll just finish up these last few games. A oh, few games, yeah, right, that really stands a lot for it. Alright, see you guys next time.